Hi everyone, it's Lonnie. Welcome back to Grace Blossoms for you. I've got my work surface here, which is a piece of craft colored packing paper so I don't mess up my mat with glue. Because what I want to do today is play with index cards and I want to put some different things on index card to make them pretty. Uh, a few different things I thought of and very simple things but it's kind of a mixed media day I think. I uh, don't know if it matters. Last week I decoupaged a um, index card. Let me go grab that one. I meant to show you and then I forgot to bring it. Okay, so I decoupaged this index card with the sunflower napkin that I have and then I made a pocket using two index cards and then I decorated that. And that got me thinking, well, what else can we do with index cards? And I know I've played with index cards before, but I didn't realize that decoupaging index card was actually a thing. So I thought, why don't we do that again? Um, let's see. I've got some not very exciting napkins, unfortunately. Napkins are pretty pricey over here. I mean, not really, but when you consider, I don't know, groceries, <laughs> then you don't really want to spend all your money on napkins. I've seen people use different glue for decoupage. I've seen people use glue stick. I've seen um, diluted Elmer's. I've seen Mod Podge. I think it just depends on what you have and what you like. I also did the coffee staining or adding coffee to my glue to make it look more vintage. And that's fine if you like that but you don't have to do that. You can just use white and it will just stay white. It's not gonna disappear. It's not gonna change color. It's just gonna, I mean, if you want it to change, go ahead and change it. I just decided that I don't need to add coffee to everything. So, if I was using a glue stick, I would put the glue on first. With this, I'm gonna just um, put the napkin on and then put my liquid glue on. And I think I might use my matte medium gel. Sorry, matte gel medium. I had to make a new batch and I made quite a bit, so now I have to be mindful my brush doesn't get too gluey. So I'm just going to start on the one corner and then just work my way across and then I'll just trim the uh, edges off later. Yeah, maybe it would have been better to put the glue down first. Okay. I'll just hang that up to dry there for a second. Sorry about that. I got interrupted. Okay, so I was going to just apply the napkin and then the glue, but it was moving around so much I decided I better put the adhesive down first. Just 
still learning and experimenting. So many things you can do. All right, let's see if this will still, oh nice, didn't break yet. And I don't care if I get wrinkles on here. It's not a big deal. I'm actually surprised it still stayed intact. I thought it would have ripped. The reason I used my matte gel medium is because it has um, glycerin in it. Oops, just ripped it. It has some, um, what was I saying, glycerin, which I think is great for, well, in my experience with the Elmer's white glue, it can make paper really stiff and rigid, I guess. And so when I've tried working with it in the past, and it hasn't given me results that I like. In fact, for use it, for making master boards, um, I just found it was not pleasant to work with after. I mean, it works, it'll stick, but just the texture of the results just it wasn't pleasing to me. So I think I'm gonna switch to matte gel medium when I do like master boards and things like that nature. So this piece, I guess, is pretty much covered now. And so again, I've got limited time because my husband's coming home early and I got a few more things to do before he comes home. So um, I'm just gonna dry this real quick and then I'll be back. Okay, that's mostly dry. It's dry enough so that I can cut off the edges. And I put the decorative side on the blank side so that I would still have the lines showing because I think these would make excellent journaling cards. So yeah, napkins on index cards. Not an original idea, but I think it's one of those things that we don't think of because it's not we don't view it as grand or wonderful or unique. But then if you um, if you have some nice napkins and you're needing journal cards, I think this is a great idea. And then you can round the corners and just finish it off nicely. Decorate it with something. You could put a word strip on there. Um, for myself, some of these are going to be going into the journals that I'm making for the youth group. So I'll probably put a verse on there. Okay, how about this one? How great thou art. The name of a hymn that I love. So then, you know, just like that, and then maybe even add a butterfly. That one's pretty. Oh yeah, that will go nice. I do like to ink my butterflies. So yeah, you could even like make a small cluster. I usually do two to three things in a cluster, so 
Well, I prefer three. So I don't necessarily know if I would call this a cluster. But two. And you could iron these, I'm pretty sure. But maybe put the word strip there and then the butterfly over here. Something like that. And I think that would make a great journal card. Got all kinds of glue here. And now we're just layering the glue layers. <laughs> okay. I guess the red line is at the top, so it just, I want that on the busy part. And this on the not so busy part. There, yeah, something like that. That might take a minute to stick because it's got the napkin and that on there, but it'll work fine. And then you could ink the edge of the postcard as well. Postcard, um, index card. So yeah, I think that looks real pretty. Okay, so that's one. And then I was thinking, you know, how we all have that um, scrapbook paper laying around that's not thick enough really to do anything with or I don't know I bought a whole bunch of 12 by 12s and I can't really bring myself to use them for very much because they're very flimsy so I was thinking that would look great it's just the alphabet and you're just gonna write on the other side anyways so why not So a 12 by 12, <laughs> okay, I cut it a little too short. 12 by 12 would give you roughly six, yeah, six, if you uh, don't waste your paper. If I had measured it, it might work better. Okay, so I'm gonna, I mean, for this one, it might not be called decoupage. For this one, it might just be taking your glue and Put it on the edge, put it everywhere. I mean, you could use the other glue, whatever sticks better. I think this one has more sticking power. And then if you have a glue spreader, just take a piece of chipboard, if you don't have any plastic. And then if you can't cut straight like I didn't just now with this, you could just trim it smaller. It's not a big deal. Sometimes when we make pockets, they don't work out perfectly. So then we have to trim those as well. So why not? And two, you don't have to decorate everything. I mean, I'm just going to go like so. Yeah, you don't have to decorate everything. It can just be, you know, that the scrap of paper would decorate the one side and then the other side has the lines on it. Now, if you didn't like it white, what you could do is just... Um, either coffee dye it before or I don't know put some other color on it you could tea dye it you could paint it 
And I still have some there. And again, you could round the corners. These are sharper than my usual ones because I don't use them as much. So, something like that. Isn't that pretty to write on? And then you can look at this and it's nice. Because these index cards lately, I'm finding they're not very thick. Maybe the more expensive ones are, but the ones I bought, they're not. So it's kind of nice to give them a backing of sorts. All right, so that was one thing. And then I thought, what about music sheets? I love to look at music sheets. And so I thought, if you don't have scrap of paper, sometimes music sheets can be very fragile also. And I thought it would be neat if we could do something like that. And I'm going to try the gel medium this time. So I'm just going to probably do try to get the whole thing covered with this one piece here. And if it doesn't stick, I'm going to go back in with the other glue. Yeah, it doesn't really want to stick for some reason. It probably has too many other ingredients. I think as long as I don't use just um, Elmer's with, you know, diluted Elmer's, I think it'll be fine. Because I think my Barely Arts glue also has some kind of agent in there that will cause it to not um, get too brittle. It has like a, I don't know if it's called glycerin everywhere, but it must have something in there because it stays flexible. And that's what I would like. All right, so I'm just gonna keep it consistent because I had put this on the other half. And then I'll put some actual glue on. Like that. Then you can look at music paper on the one side and then you can write on the other side. Such simple things. And I don't know, why does everything always have to be more complicated than A, we have time for, or B, we have money for, or I think sometimes we just need some ideas. And sometimes we just need reminders of things we already know. And my son would tell you that I'm really good at talking about things that aren't all that new. <laughs> My son is turning 15 soon, and it seems I cannot tell him anything new. He's heard it all already. So, how fortunate am I? <laughs> I must have talked a lot with him when he was growing, growing up, so that now he thinks um, I've shared everything I know. Oh well, teenagers. I was like that too, I think, so. Probably not just our family. All right, so then this one you could decorate, you could ink it up, you could, I don't know, do all sorts of fun things with it yet. And again, with the glue and the extra paper, it just adds 
stability to the index card. This one's not even color fast. Okay, so there's that. And I'm pretty sure I did this with you once already, but um, since we're just reminding ourselves of things. I'm pretty sure I did this, I, the stenciling idea. You could stencil on it as well. But then there's this other thing and I may have shown that to you. I saw Donna at Junk Journal Ideas do it, and what she did was she took some acrylic paint and just smeared it. I wanted to use gold, but I found some other colors that might work a bit better. And they're different brands too, so. I'm going to start with the dark one up here. And then the lighter one. And then lighter still. And I might have to go back to the darker one because I got a big empty spot here. All right, let's see. I'm going to use my glue spreader that I was using and there's glue and acrylic anyways so and I yeah I meant to do it on this side look at that you can make waves Depends on how much paint you put down, how much you're going to end up with here. So if you don't go all the way to the edge, you're not going to have paint on the very edge. Something like that, I guess. I didn't have as much blue, dark blue. There, you can make designs until you're until you're happy and you know it. Okay, um, I'm just demonstrating one today, so we'll do that. I will quickly dry this. Okay, like so, and then that even that paint there just adds a little more sturdiness to the card. And again, then you could round the corners or something just to, I'm not really a huge fan of traditional corners, so something like that. And you could, you know, decorate it more if you like. Put some more paint on it. Get some more layers on there if you want. Choose different colors. Just play. So, all right. We've got the uh, the napkins, the scrapbook paper, the music paper, and acrylic paint. So, four ideas. There's lots of other stuff you could do. I mean, tissue paper, wrapping paper. You could totally use wrapping paper for this step. That would be fun. I've got some really pretty wrapping paper and I'm starting to run out now because, um, well, I've been experimenting with it and using it up, so. So yeah, maybe tissue paper, something like this one here. That'd be all right. I mean, you could do the decoupage thing with that too. So anyways, stickers, you could just throw anything on there. But you know, use your index cards, why not? 
All right, so that's pretty much what I have for you today. And uh, remember, it doesn't always have to be new and wonderful. Sometimes it can just be something you really enjoy doing and have forgotten about. So use what you have and have fun. God bless and we'll see you again next time. Bye for now.